The Loose Awakening Dream by Michael Bancroft, who was a great animator. First book in the Lucent series is a 76 page, man, you're going all in. This is really well done. And the fact that you do all of it is kind of, it's mind boggling. You write pencil, ink, color. The, the quality of the artwork and the little bit of the writing that they've shown off um, is superb. Great artwork. It, I mean, look how good that looks, John. Real qualified know, I, dude. Yeah, I like his stuff a lot. And I love the movement. Like, you can just, again, still images that have movement to them are so powerful, man. This is top tier stuff. I mean, there's so much motion I feel from that image right there, you know? Yeah, yeah those, a lot of time on that. Yeah, those buildings look really great. I'm always kind of going, how, like, how good are they at what, what this is? Because I know how they're doing it, but how good are they at what they're doing? You, sir, are very fucking good at what you do. This is great. Look at the environments here. Mm. Yeah, really good stuff. Oh, I love the color stuff going on. Again, for me as a cinema person, uh, it does speak to me. The stuff's super cinematic, too. I look at this. This looks this... like a fill out of a movie, man. And it looks dark and mysterious and what is going on. Let's talk perspective for like two seconds on your cover. The camera angles, the framing, the motion, the colors. I love what you're doing, man. So cinema seal approval. I'm just, I'm super impressed. You're kind of Babe Ruth in it. Like there's a lot of people that play baseball, but you're grand slamming it. Uh, <laughs> and, and no problem, man. I just think people need to uh, get a hold of this book because they're gonna wish they did. Uh, I'm gonna start promoting this every day. And look at this, dude. Holy shit. Please consider the lucid waking dream. It, it looks top notch, and even John is absolutely flabbergasted and speechless at this. Yeah. Better, better backgrounds than I'll ever draw. Believe that. According to this, I am now uh, backer number 508. I'm very stoked about this book, dude. I can't wait. Can't wait to get it. I've backed this campaign. And uh, I thoroughly recommend that uh, you do too. I love this. Uh, guys, uh, consider backing this. <laughs> That's for you, Skip. I wasn't even late. It wasn't even that bloody hour. Is, I don't know. It's 7 p.m. here. Um, just thought I'd stream because why the hell not? I gave Shane two hours and now he's got Rini on and they're talking about relationships so i thought well there's a perfect segue even though we only have six people here in the chat these are the smart ones hello uh hello skip hello Matty fowler noran rad sumo says is this live or is it memorex what is memorex uh, Richard B's here. How Richard B? Sumo, um, Mel sent out your uh, your package today. I hope you got the the email, the confirmation email. D's in the house. How D? I got your email. I will respond to it in kind. The answer is yes. Let's do it. Atheline's here. Who else is here? Noran Rad. I thought I saw Mo. It's probably too late for Mo. Oh, it's just because D's right. D's uh, D's avatar is a little Mo esque. It's like Mo, but at a disco. Eric Weinberg's joined us. Woo! No time for the dating talk show. Yeah, we won't be talking about dating or cheating or anything like that. I will um. I'll just be flatting. If you guys want to talk about something that you're interested in let me know did you catch me on ethan's today mucking it up on the big table uh, memorex is an old audio tape company it's their slogan it is not the disco it is indeed uh keen scene is watching us over on rumble even with 14 people watching here we have rumblers four over on rumble that's uh that's nearly 20 people for this hour i don't know what time it is over where you guys are everyone is saying memorex with the memorex with the cassette tapes why don't i remember this i guess i didn't look 
Here's a scene I don't think I've shown off. Um, now, it's not actually colored like this. It's colored like this. But I like to do the native colors first before I give it a bit of a treatment. Probably should have worked out my... my brushes and everything before. I need to figure out a way to get the friggin' chats so I can see them. Not that probably hardly any people are chatting. Uh, oh, I just saw the roboting thing. I don't know if that's going on. Do you think they're going to end soon? Oh, we got 20 people together uh, considering Rumble and YouTube. That's a party. If they end, I will get 200 people flooding in here. That's my goal. That's my plan. That's my sneaky plan. I was enjoying... I was enjoying... Um, Shane's stream about the... About Inglorious Rex. You know, hearing the ins and outs. I think Shane is a clever writer. Cleverer than what he, he lets on. And then and then it, it delved into something I'm not really that interested in, but that's okay. It's all right. Too many windows. Noren says Shane is not ending for a long time. That's okay. It'll just be us. I um I updated my website today. I was hoping to have more people to show it off to, but screw it. I didn't get a chance to show it off on Ethan's. So just like Shane said, I mean, if you got your own car, why not take it out for a spin? So I thought that's what I'll do. I mean, it's the same website. I just I changed the URL. It's no longer, I mean, it's still forwards if you if you type in the Lucent Waking Dream, but it's now the Lucent Comic dot com. So it's for everything. It's not just for one thing. Devilfish has joined us tonight. Hail Devo. Devil. Really called you Devo. <laughs> hey Devo. Uh Fanta's here. How you going, Fanta? Sumo says, had to zoom into the butt, didn't you? Well, it's just where it is. It wasn't intentional. That's that's what's going on here. He's not really like kneeling before him in terms of veneration. There's a word for that. What's the fancy word for kneeling? I'm gonna I'm gonna check that. Kneeling. Genuflecting. He's not genuflecting. He's more exasperated. A broken man. What's going on here? Weird line. That's because I got stuff going on. Get that off. There we go. It's not a blow. <laughs> it's not a blow job. There's no blow jobs in the Lucent. I do want Victoria to be able to read it. I mean, she takes it to her school. She's proud of it. She took it to her school and showed it off to her teachers, and they stole it. And she never got it back. I don't know where it is. It might be in the school library. I don't know. These kids reading about Ella. It's a primary school too. There's like, they kill kids in it. It's a bit interesting. Uh, PTP's in the house. Yo, yo. Looks like he's hungry for the BBC. Says <laughs> <Is> Trevor Rice. <laughs> oh, shit. 
I know what you're saying there, Trevor. He's not. That's not what it is either. God, this is going to take forever. What was I thinking? Yeah, so this was originally, you can see, this panel was originally just more vertical and I needed it horizontal. So I, I guess I have to, you know, do something about that. I got yelled at last time I was flatting because I wasn't using the I wasn't using the lasso tool. Sometimes I use the lasso tool, sometimes I use the brush tool, just whatever strikes my fancy. I don't think I'm particularly quicker with either. I mean, obviously, if it's a straight line, you're gonna use the lasso tool. I don't know. Lasso. That's how that's how it's pronounced, isn't it? Lasso. Lasso tool. Unhinged says, "Looking good, Mister B." Thank you so much, Jason. I'm trying. I'm trying to make it look good with mixed results. But uh, when we get, I don't know if Shane if Shane ends and we get a few more people in here. If they're done talking about whatever they're talking about uh i will we can check out the new site and what i've done lasso okay right there you go i suppose that makes sense is that sometimes you draw these things and i don't like to get like if it's in the background i don't want it to be particularly detailed because you don't need it to be and you were trying to do it as quick as you can but then i can't really make out what i've drawn afterwards which is fine this is in the background Patrick's happy to see everyone up late. It's not late for me. It's 7 p.m. I've done most of today's short. Um, I'll finish that after the after this stream. I finished them. That's the last thing I do in here before I go into the house. Do some more drawing but i schedule them for uh 3 a.m my time so when i i wake up i see hopefully a bunch of views sometimes not many sometimes a lot you never really know and then usually it's the same people who will comment on it and god bless them you know who you are i'm talking about hostman uh jolly green judd uh, who else? Who else is always commenting? The comments are important. I always make sure to reply to all the comments if possible. That's how uh, YouTube gets tricked into thinking, oh, this is a really good video. Shane and I, Shane has Irene. Yeah, I was listening. I was listening to them and I was like, I've given, I'll, I'll give Shane two hours by himself. I mean, not that I'm, you know, gonna have any effect but just saying a little bit of um professional courtesy among cg streamers unhinged did a 25 minute sketch on hellboy is that a short you're gonna upload it i didn't watch the new hellboy everyone said it was rubbish and i never read hellboy but i liked the movies the ones with that idiot from the motorbike show. God is insufferable, but he made a good Hellboy. I'll give him that. 
Yeah, but I didn't watch the new one. Everyone said it was rubbish. Unhinged says, made it a four minute. Don't do shorts. Get into them. It's a friggin' gold rush. It's a gold rush over here on the shorts. It's like everyone's out trying to claim their, uh, stake their claim. Uh, it's nuts. I had more views this month than Eric July. Now, I know it's not like the same. It's a short. The, the views aren't, all views aren't equal. But still, that's pretty funny. <laughs> that is pretty funny. First, I was like, I wonder if I can get more views than John. Because John gets a lot of views on his streams. And I did that. And then I was like, oh, maybe I could get more views than Ethan or Zach. And that just seemed like an impossible hill to climb. And then literally a couple of days later, I did. And it just, it just didn't stop. So I was like, well, how high can this go? So I looked over to the next mountaintop and it was Eric July. Now, I don't know what that means, but I get, here's my philosophy. No view, uh, a lot of views is better than no views. I don't know if it's going to translate into anything. Um, but, you know, James says, Banker is going to be a famous TikToker one day, just like Charlie Dem I don't know who that is. Um, I'm not I'm not even uploading to, to, to TikTok anymore. I'm done with it. I thought, oh, I'll, I'll put them up on TikTok as well. I've had enough of the commies. Although there's commies over here too, but at least they're our commies. But yeah, it's crazy. I think I got like, I don't know, over two and a half million views. Something like nearly 2,000 subs. Again, I don't know how to get them in here, but look, baby steps. Jeremy Burtz is in the house. Uh, my lovely wife, Mel, who has a sore shoulder from all the uh, fulfilling I've been making her do. She started that today. Hopefully, we'll be, we'll be able to get back onto it tomorrow. Mortal V says, gay. Oh, there's 44 people in here. Did they end? That's weird. Have you tried tasteful nudity? That brings them in. Oh, the shorts? I I don't like I don't need any more viewers. It's you know, it's more than I can handle, really. I've got I've got so many comments on how I'm a transphobe. Uh you know, I've got enough to last a lifetime. It's never, it's never, it's, I couldn't get through them all. It's thousands. But I'm thankful for every one of them. Sometimes if YouTube shares one with me, which they don't always, I'll just thank the person calling me a bigot for the uh, help with the algorithm. I don't, I don't usually hear from them after that. Probably shouldn't do that because I pro probably should, yeah, that, you know, just keep, keep them yelling at me. Have you tried not being transphobic? Well, that's what I say to them. I was like, I don't, I don't accept that as a thing. See, here is where the brush is faster than the, the brush in this case is faster than the lasso tool. Um, I don't accept the term. That's what I say to them. I say, I don't accept the term. I don't accept the premise of your accusation. And then that, that usually gets them going off on another thing. I got people yelling at me over James Gunn like I care. It's like you today. Oh, there was a comment. Is Bancroft drawing shrubbery? Yes, as I always do on my I'm going to call these streams from now on because it's the only thing I can do that's productive and 
talk at the same time is flatting. So it's going to be called, the drawstrings will now be called flatten and chatten. How, how do you like that? I think that's clever of me. Um, I always have stuff to flat. Uh, anyway. Yeah, like I got people arguing with me about James Gunn and Ezra Miller. Like I care. Like I make a short and this is, I mean, this is consuming me for weeks. I'm really thinking about it. when I make an Ezra Miller, James Gunn short, I literally forget about it the moment I upload it. I'm like, well, that's done. Don't have to think about that ever again. But um, yeah, I, t I ticked some people off with that one. Uh, Bush stream says, will <laughs> Right, it's going to do flatter days. I like that. I like it. Yeah, let me find this freaking comment I got earlier. It was someone was very indignant. And they wanted to they wanted to let me know about it. Um oh god, is this an un unending comments about anti-semitic goblins? Uh, but I'm not. I'm not complaining. I'm just like this is what it is. Uh, where's the person calling me a liar? And it's just never ending. Here it is, Christopher. Three hours ago, Michael Bancroft. You are such a liar. It isn't even funny. There's contractual obligations. Yes but there's no contractual obligation to disclose whether or not rumors of termination are full of shit or not. I don't know what he's talking about. I'm like, I uploaded a, a, a short, you know, a, a 20 second, 40 second short two weeks ago. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Levi, who's Lee? He's like, Levi himself has said that these rumors are full of shit. Who's Levi? I don't know. He also went on to say that if he does leave, it'll be to go to DC's big brother, Marvel. Your credibility has been tarnished. Instant unsub, clown face. <laughs> All right. I should heart that. I'm, I gave that a heart. That might anger, anger Christopher. Man, it's good though. It's interaction. Sometimes I say things that can be interpreted poorly, like... I might be, I might be incorrect. Um, I, I probably am incorrect, but that's actually good for YouTube because then I'll get a flood of comments from people saying, that's not right. They didn't say that. And then that means more people will see my content because YouTube's like, oh, this guy's like, people really want to talk about what this guy said. So I'm going to share it out to more people. See, I'm learning about YouTube. So, so you know, I it was like, oh, is that really right? I don't know. It's fine. It's like a diary. These things. I didn't. It's not my life's work. Uh, wow, D. Five memberships. Whoo! Bloody legend, D. Actually, that's going to lead me. We've got 48 people in here. I think that's enough. I think that's glorious. Thank you all for hang, for, so much for hanging out with me at this late hour, D. Well, cheers, biggies. <laughs> <sighs> Wish I had a VB right now. I only have this water. That's okay. We'll make do. Um sumo why are you always lying i can't play that video it gets claimed every single time the whoever owns that is is quite uh, protective of their intellectual property um yeah let me let me share this if i can if i can find it let me shut that down goodbye 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 where is it Used to be so simple, but it isn't anymore. All right. I'll just type it in. I'll type in thelucentcomic.com. That's the new site, everyone. 
You have a VD right now. I have a I have a website. That's what I have. Where is it? Window. Uh, and I've updated it for all to see. So uh, you guys can't see it, but at the top it says thelucentcomic.com now. Uh, the, the old links will still work. They all forward. But I've updated this. This now says buy now because the campaign is over. Uh, this used to talk about why I'm doing a campaign. Now it's just a, a blurb of waking dream but look if i scroll down painted death sign up i wish this would allow me to um just sign up here because i do have a sign up on the on the site but it wouldn't let me do it so anyway it just goes to my indiegogo sign up but check this out i added this i colored a panel i mean it was a bit of a quick coloring but i colored it nonetheless of uh, fractured mind a 32-page action one-shot, Fractured Mind, is a prequel to Waking Dream. Drawn by the esteemable Rod Looper and maybe colored by me. I don't know. But you can hit, hit this help create here and uh, uh, it'll take you to the join members on, on YouTube, which is pretty fancy, I thought uh oh dang no undies there's undies in this book rod loves drawing ella with her legs in opposite directions <laughs> so um yeah but those are artfully placed shadows correct correct um sj says i'd put up a rod emoji but yeah you can't you are unmembered currently uh, Phil Diaz is here. Yo, I love how that panel looks colored. Thank you. I did this. Uh, I did this today quickly. Yeah. Look, I mean, I did, I did it pretty quickly. Um, but I think I liked. At least I like the direction. It's a good starting point. Usually, what I do is I'll just sort of start, do a few panels, and then eventually I'll land on a system that I think will work across the board, and then I'll just be able to quickly make because I work in masks and layers. I'll be able to quickly make it all. Uh, look the same. They uh, frankly owes in there with the rod and snark to come. In rod we trust. Where is that? I couldn't find that the other day. Where is it? There it is. Hey, what is that? It's an inanimate carbon rod. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we were just about to show some close-ups of the rod. Um, yeah, how Rod, have you seen a show on FX called Mr. In Between? asks JD. It's based in Australia. I have not. I've heard about it, I think. Um, so yeah, a little update. That's what I want this site to be now because it's lucent, the lucentcomic.com. So uh, I want it to be kind of like the hub, you know, ground zero for all things lucent. And that's just a bit of a start. Obviously, you can still click through. Um, you'll notice here that now this used to say, oh yeah, we sold another one. This used to, if I scroll down, this used to say this will be, um, you know, estimated shipping time February. Well, now that's gone because it's shipping now. I mean, we've got to get through the 200 odd books first. First come, first serve. We all, that's how we always ship. So the first 15 backers got sent out this afternoon. And Mel's taking it slow. She's got a, um, a sore shoulder. But uh, we'll get through it. We'll get, we'll get the production line going. And also, funnily enough, I, um, we added uh, PayPal. Is that showing up? And I've got to take that down. Hold on a sec. Old Simpsons is great. Yeah, if I zoom in here, uh, PayPal is now added because it's now a proper online store. There, you know, there's no wait time. There's no 21 day wait period. So we uh, we don't break any of their stringent rules. The rules, rules, rules. Um. So yeah, a little bit of an update to the site. And someone actually already bought the paper. Uh, bought bought it through PayPal, so maybe they were waiting for that. And I didn't even tell anyone. 
They were just on it. Uh, D says, just to be completely random, Boz, Roy Boz iced tea, lemon is a wonderful, refreshing drink. I'll take your word for it. I don't mind a bit of iced tea. I'm normally, I drink hot tea though, normally. Um, DPay, is that a hookup site? What's DPay? Is that on here? I don't know. I just selected G, there's GPay. Oh, that's not DPay. That's Shop Pay. That's where, like, that's actually really cool. Um, Shop Pay means if you bought something on, say, Mandy Shopify, or if Patrick's is a Shopify, or Phil Diaz's, if that's a Shopify, I don't know. The more of us who set up Shopify's, this is a lot. This is a thing that a lot of people are, you know, a bit annoyed about. Is I have to, you know, enter my details in every time. Um, and uh, you don't have to. It's already in on ShopPay if you if you you know back on any Shopify site. So that's pretty cool. Uh, did I ever watch Agro the Puppet? It says Hyrule. Are you kidding me? I grew up on Agro. I mean, I'm Australian. Everyone watches Agro. It's not even a question. That's like saying, "Did you ever say g'day?" It's uh, it's Australia. Of course, we we watched Agro. Agro was a rude um, little puppet who liked to look up skirts and stuff. He was a kids show. He was a cheeky. He was a cheeky boy. That's sort of that's what Australia used to be like back in the day, before the dark times. Before the tyrant. See, I, I think that's supposed to be a rock, but I don't know. Again, just keeping it pretty loose. Loosey goosey, back to shrubbery. Shrubbery is important in your desert scenery. You don't want to shrimp on the shrub. Have a well balanced. Flora, is that it? Yep. Bancroft Wright says Hyrule. Yeah, I'm not a liar. I like how these people call me a liar and they're like, you know, I might just be wrong. Do you ever think of that? I'm like... I'm not lying. I just, I just, I could be talking out of my ass. Do you have a fact of that? I'm just reading some article that someone else has written and I'm regurgitating it into a short, in a very professional and concise way. My radio, my best radio voice. For you, the people. Yes, Flora. Correct. Uh, Snutcon says, real question, what is the Danny puppet from? Um, that is a, that's a dude. He's still doing. He's still, I think he actually did a crowdfund for a new puppet show. I don't know if it was Indiegogo or Kickstarter, but he's still out there doing his puppet show. That's a real, Danny is real. Danny is a real threat. He's not some... Uh, dead and forgotten thing. He's, he's out there. God, it's in the middle of flatting that you remember how tedious this can get. It's like a never-ending array of shrubs. Although I say that and now I can't find any more. The cool thing about uh, digital is see you can do that. You can like layer it to do a bit of negative space shrubbery. Yeah, I think probably get a bit in there too. Why not? Well, that's so. 
I'm learning. Lasso. Lasso. Uh, yeah, sometimes lasso, sometimes no so. You know, this, I'm so much quicker with the brush on the shrub. This would take forever with a lasso. It's it sounds weird for me. I'm saying me, I've been saying lasso my whole life like an idiot, thinking I was, you know, saying it right, and now it sounds wrong. So <laughs> Snapcon says sometimes lasso is more. Hmm. Hmm. Do I put a bit in here? Bit of shrub reaction. Different kind of shrubs. See, I don't. I didn't even remember drawing any of this. It's just when you when you're in this mode, you're just like whatever, and so and then you come out of it, and you're like, oh, that looks actually, you know, looks somewhat okay. But I don't know what I was drawing. It was just random things. Jane Max says, I had a college professor that said lasso. Maybe it's an Australian thing. That has been known to happen. I've got to get this all done. Uh, flattered to as far as I can get all of the pages all sketched out, the ones I don't have sketched out um, by the end of this month because I'm giving it to um, Joe for his uh, round of edits. It'll be the first time he'll be actually checking out the you know the what I've done with the art over the last months. So um, that'll be interesting. It's been a while since I've been critiqued. I've had the the pen of scorn from Joe. He's actually he's not unkind. He's just blunt. He's like dirt face, hand looks broken, you know that sort of stuff. He's never not wrong either. Is there a difference between a shrub and a bush? Yeah, I think it's sort of one of those cases of um, not all not all bushes are shrubs, but all shrubs are bushes. Is that it? I think it's the size. But then there's shrubbery, which is like descriptive of a kind of you know area in the shrubbery. Travis Parrick decided to click on the super chat thing, put in $2 and then hit enter and, and send it to me so that he could say flat earth. And it looks like Israel, but it's his meaning to say is real, but he obviously couldn't afford the extra space. How could flat earth be real? Travis if i'm in australia and australia can't exist on flat earth it doesn't it doesn't gel it doesn't vibe with the uh the theory i'm living proof that flat earth is not real listen to my accent listen to how i talk i'm not doing this as a gag palestinian propaganda <laughs> <laughs> says Snarkicon. Could be. I feel like shrubs can be succulents, but bushes can't, says J Max. Yeah. Look, I'll leave it up to you guys. I don't want to be called a liar again on YouTube because I'm out there spreading false rumors about you know desert flora. 
I don't even think Christopher was subscribed to me. I've never saw him before. Just it was just Christopher with a with a green green uh, avatar, and he said, "I'm unsubbing from you, you clown." I was like, "I've never seen you before." Thank you for subbing in the first place. I appreciate you. But um, yeah, we passed 6,000 subs today. It, I felt like I just passed 5,000 the other day. Hogwarts Legacy, I'm telling you. It's a gold rush. Again, I don't know if any of them are going to buy any comics, but look. From little things, big things grow. That's what I know is true. Paul Kelly taught me that. I once saw Paul Kelly at a swimming pool in his budgie smugglers, but he wasn't actually at the swimming pool. He was out the front of it, getting in his car. So he was he was in the street, and he was still in his budgie smugglers, and he looked at me, and I looked at him, and he saw that I recognized him, and uh it was <laughs> he was embarrassed because he was essentially in his undies in the street you know just because you're next to this pool doesn't mean you can go around in bun in budgie smugglers out on the street paul kelly for anyone who doesn't know is one of our most famous um singer songwriters i don't know if you guys if you're american if you would know anything of his but he's kind of a big deal i really like him He's probably a raging lefty, but I don't mind. Snuckron said, I thought he said R. Kelly. No, Paul Kelly. Very, very different. I rate Paul Kelly high. R. Kelly, not so much. Although I did watch the entire hip hop opera because I was transfixed, glued. To the screen is alexander pierce famous in australia maybe not to me why do australians have to have weird names for everything j max example what's a weird name australians have for things shrubs are taller bushes are wider says butter bear uh, d says he loves the australia's not real theory we're all nasa actors William uh, says Joe Camarilli, which is a name that sounds familiar, but I don't know if I know, uh, is going to be playing at the Frankston Art Center this Saturday. Thinking of going. That's in my neck of the woods. Frank is uh, just probably about 45 minutes away, if that, maybe half an hour, I think. out on the beach yeah frankston is too long of a name so we call it franger everyone know ac dc and air supply yeah, i think so. i think we do butterbear says no one says i was walking through knee-high bushes Maybe. I don't know what I, this is the most I've ever talked about shrubs and bushes in my life. I suppose I never really thought about it. All right, I think we don't need to color in the rest. They're sort of off in the distance. Let's do this. Oh, what's going on here? A little bit of missing robe. You guys don't even know who this is. Look at him. His face of... What, what is his expression under there? You'll have to buy the book to find out. Um, I'd have to call him Chaz Wasps. <laughs> oh, Budgie Smugglers. Yes. How did you not think it was weird to say that? I mean, I don't know. That's just what they are. <laughs> 
That's just what they are. Budgie smugglers. Speedos, yeah. Uh, aren't the Bee Gees Aussie? I think the Bee Gees were British who came to live in Australia and they formed in Australia. So I, th I think they were here a long time. It's a bit like Russell Crowe or who else? I mean, there's a whole list of people who have, you know, we claim because they were here for a while. Mel Gibson is another one. You know, he's Aussie. Mel Gibson was very Aussie, you know, at one point. He had a very Australian accent. But uh, that was a long time ago. A long time ago. Um, I like a bit of Hunters and Collectors. Classic. Hunters and Collectors, the original pub band. They were a pub band that made it all the way to the top. Great songs. I fear I fear that Americans don't know enough about Hunters and Collectors. You probably guys know Throw Your Arms Around Me because Pearl Jam did a cover of it. But other than that, maybe not. Uh... It's a Jedi, says How's Your Father. Not too far off. Not too far off. He is a, a wise sage. Welcome to Horticulture and Botany with Bancroft, says <laughs> Snark to come. Russell was born in New Zealand. Yeah, but we claim him. JD points out that even Olivia Newton-John isn't Australian. Damn. But you know who is Australian uh, that people don't realize? Um, Errol Flynn, definitely Australian, Tasmanian. If you want to count Tasmania as Australian, which I know some of you don't. big old tree uh, there's a branch that goes up there at some point i don't know trees Pfft. you don't have to make them accurate <laughs> no one cares uh it's very late here says jolly green well thank you for being here nonetheless i was shouting you out earlier as being uh one of my fantastic commenters on all my shorts, helping me with the algorithm, propelling me to, I mean, absolute superstardom, clearly. Almost 4 a.m., says Jeremy Burtz. I don't remember the last time I was up at 4 a.m. Probably to promote Waking Dream back in the day. You're really cranking the subs these last two weeks, dude. <laughs> Let me look. Let me check for you. It's insane. It's insane. And again, I'm. I think it's all. It's like a multi-pronged approach to get them to actually turn up in your live streams because that's the ultimate goal. I mean, the reason you do the shorts is to build an audience so that you can have an audience, not just shorts, but. Uh, you know, so there's community posts, there's videos. I do try and make all the shorts somewhat related to what we do on the streams, but it's not always easy. Um, analytics. So since I started doing the shorts, 
I am up 1,911,940 views. Uh, 1,520 subscribers. The most, the best thing actually is a new thing that I found out is that 57,000 people are now coming back to the channel to, I mean, I, pr I presume almost all of them are just watching shorts, but, uh, you know, it's something. It's something. I enjoy making them get a little, it's like Rob, you know, getting a little, um, just getting things off your chest. Right. <laughs> Snack to come. Did you, are you, are you Christopher? Did you write that, uh, that horribly upsetting? Am I pressing the wrong thing here? No. Horribly upsetting comment earlier, three hours ago calling me a clown and a liar. D says he hopes Rob feels better soon. Rob came on the other day. He sounded better, but he's still, I know what it's like. Like that fatigue is, is real. Just uh, knocks you on your ass. So he was like, uh, I mean, I get it. Like there's, it's a lot different than just showing up on a stream to actually running a show. I don't know what I'm doing here, but, uh, doing something. Mortal V says, I should have been the one to call you a clown and a liar just to rile you up. <laughs> Please do. Please do. Go in there. Onto the ones that have don't as much that don't have as much um engagement, you know, the ones that haven't gotten hundreds of thousands of views. I would be very much appreciated. Uh, if you did. Jeff dude is in here. Hello, Jeff. He says he just got over COVID very tiring. Yeah. That's really what did it for me. I did have a sore throat, but the painkillers got me through that. It wasn't the worst sore throat I've ever had, but I got, I got hit when the, uh, the weaker variant, what is it? The Omni Omnicron? I don't know. Uh, so it was actually pretty mild, but the fatigue just, I can't stand not being able to do things. It drives me crazy. And you're just too tired to do anything. All right, me blabbers. Uh, sorry, babbers. Streaming on British time. Bristolian Dave. How you going, Dave? Great to see you here. Holy cow, Jasper. What are you doing still up? I didn't know you were such a night owl. Another idea that'll jump your views. Ruse and koalas, you think? The funny thing is, like, I find the whole Hogwarts legacy thing funny that it's getting they're getting such crazy views but um i mean the whole reason i'm 
I did them in the first place is to make commentary on, uh, you know, like cancel culture and that sort of stuff. So, but now, you know, people are coming to me through gaming channels and stuff. I'm, I don't really talk too much about gaming. But I'm not complaining. The, anyway, the whole point is, you know, as I said from the beginning, the whole point is this is what Ethan did. This is what Flash did. This is what Zach did. This is what everyone's done to build their audience so that to the point where they have their own audience that they can rely on whenever they go live. Probably going to take a little while to grow. The woke, ha ha ha, says JD. Bancroft made them come. That was what about who said that? That wasn't me, by the way, in case you're not looking at the chat. When you're starting a playthrough of Hogwarts Legacy Bancroft, says Mason, I, I do not have time for that. I, I, it's, that is just not on the cards for me. It's like, I've, you know, this is the life I chose. I wanted to make a comic book that looked like this. Uh, I've got, I got five kids to feed. You know, maybe not five, but I got to, you know, yeah, it's not going to happen. I have been watching it, though, while I draw. I want to know what all the hubbub is about. I'm liking it. I mean, it's a little, it's a little slow, but I don't mind that because, you know, I'm not playing it. Uh, it's the artist's burden. No time for video. Yeah, no, that's it. And plus, I'm a recovering video game addict, so it's like crack to me if i got if i got sucked into a video game you know painted death wouldn't come out till 2030 It'd be done I don't, I, don't, I don't want that Do you use DaVinci to edit vids? Asked Jolly Green. No, I use I use Premiere Pro. Adobe Premiere Pro. God, this is impossible to see. It's very dark up here. Somebody turn on the light. There we go. Wilburn says, Bancroft, the man they couldn't root, shoot, or electrocute. <laughs> Not many Americans know what, how we use the word root. William, let's just keep it between you and I and D. You're just throwing away money with Premiere Pro, says Texas Mofo. I don't pay for it. I never paid for it. It comes with work. I'm on Adobe uh, whatever. I mean, I need the Adobe suite anyway. I use InDesign. I sometimes use Illustrator. Not often, but you know, on occasion. When I need to, I want to be able to use it. 
Uh, I use Photoshop every day. And Premiere Pro just comes with that. I'm not a pirate. I'm, I mean, the company I work for is paying for it. Jasper says, Arc Athena 3 is live on Iconic Comics site. Yeah, I saw, I retweeted that uh, Eric was, um, he said, that was, that. I guess that was a couple of days ago, yeah. He said that was happening. The whole crowdfunding thing was just too much for him, I think. I maintain that I scared him off with my crazy launch stream. But he says, no, that was actually a lot of fun. It was just too much, which I understand. It's not for everyone. Looks good. I mean, it's Eric, so of course it's going to look good. Snarkgun says, iconic, like Tim Rim. Yes, the very same. I don't, uh, I don't necessarily endorse the company. In fact, I recently just received Long Harbor. Just the other, just the other week. Despite, I think other people had received it two years earlier or something. I don't know what was going on there. I know Rob had to wait an obscene amount of time to get his uh, Arc Athena, the first one. Other people, I think, had their second, and Rob still hadn't had his first. So, um, but uh, I'll go to bat for Eric Canetti any day of the week. Dude's a legend and a great guy. You gave him too much and he couldn't handle it. I was just very like, I, you know, you guys know what Eric is like. He's very subdued. He's very cool. He's very calm. He's just like, he's just a super cool dude. He, he speaks in this soft, you know, these dulcet tones. And I came in like a bat out of hell. Because I knew, because I had Rob and Eric on, on that launch stream. And I was like, ah, Arc Athena. And Arc Athena's, I mean, Eric's a, Eric's a big deal. Arc Athena, it looks amazing. So, you know, I was, I was, I turned it up to 11. And um, I, I, you know, I worried at the end, maybe I went a bit too, too much. That's what I mean by that. Uh, is Gabe... Al Tayyib out of CG. What happened with his book? I've got no idea. I haven't spoken to Gabe. I haven't seen him around. Used to see him in sort of DM groups occasionally back, you know, before all that. I haven't seen him in ages. Uh, I don't know what's going on with his book. Last time I heard he was drawing it. David was out. Gabe was in. Uh, so yeah, I had Gabe on once and I, I went onto his show very impromptu, just sort of, you know, he, I was in the chat and he saw me and he sent me the link. Um, so I don't, I don't really know Gabe too well. Very calm with great lighting, Eric Kennedy. Yeah, he has the most professional set. And he always joke, oh, my, my setup is really ad hoc and amateur. I'm like, dude, my light is literally a lamp with paper clipped around it to diffuse the light. And he's got all these, you know, pro streaming stuff. He 
is a he's a funny guy. Uh, what is Drunk Three PO's book about? Still giving Disney money while he hangs with Gina? I've got no idea. Um, he's over thirty thousand though. Says D. Yeah, I asked him. I don't know him. Uh, we, you know, he doesn't follow me, so I just sort of asked him on Twitter if you know he was interested in coming on to talk about the book. I didn't get a response, but he probably has, you know, a million, a million requests a day. I don't know how it is. Not really, but. <laughs> It's a kid's book, says BLT. Fear Lantern says, that feels like a nice no comment. What about Gabe? I, I don't know. I literally don't know. I don't know if he's still CG. I don't know if he wants to still be CG. I know that there are people in CG who don't want him to be CG. So, yeah. Uh, people think James thinks Drunk's book should have gotten more, but he, you know, you think you'd get more. But Jasper says the style is the art style is a bit too YA for him, doesn't think his son would like it. Yeah, I mean, Having a big audience, being on a big show is really no guarantee of anything. I think you know, time has shown that. Uh, we've seen that time and time again. I think this chat, like, this chat punches so far above its weight. I remember we there was one of the, one show we had twenty something people in here it was we were up against everyone you know everyone was streaming I think maybe uh, Shane and Mandy were doing their promo stream Ethan was live uh, you know all these big people were live we had twenty people in here we still managed to get something like fifteen hundred bucks for for uh, someone so. It ain't what I'm trying to say is it ain't all about the size. It's about the motion in the ocean. I keep saying that. Uh American comedy says it's an overall story of a kid who finds he has a purpose as a value as a human being in a world of adversity and poverty. Fear Lantern says, I think Gabe had a dust up in a CG chat when uh, it issues with the last artist. Uh, so that's backstage stuff. No, I think it's all out in the open. I mean, they did it publicly. It's between Dave Williams and Gabe. Um, you know, just I just don't think I don't think Dave was working at the pace Gabe wanted. And yeah, I mean, I don't I don't know. This is like I, this is my recollection. And then you know, he pulled him off the book, and I don't know. There's probably lawyers involved. I probably shouldn't speculate too much. I tell you what, though, it's times like that that I'm glad, you know, I said I do this on my own. 
I don't have to worry about fallouts. Hojo in the house. Hojo, we're getting close. Three days? Four days? Shadow Sentry is also launching this Thursday. And then the Mythicals after that. We've got Coney Waves by Mark Poulton the following week. Still, there's still a lot. Still a lot going on. Mason says a lot of complaints with geeks and gamers are about them complaining and not producing an alternative. Drunk is doing just that and hasn't been involved in any real drama before. I don't even have a problem at all with them just complaining. Like, I think it's actually, I'm happy that they're doing it. I think, I think a lot, a lot, of, a lot of time what happens is, you know, especially me, I consider myself, I've been involved in internet culture war stuff since at least 2011 that I can remember. Um, but definitely at least 2011. So, you know, I've been doing this sort of thing in one way or another for over a decade and people a lot of people get sort of like you know enough already I, you know i've had enough but you don't realize there's so many people out there they're just hearing about this stuff for the first time ever or maybe they were into it maybe they believed all this stuff i think it's important to have you know big channels uh talking about it still um waking people up at the same time, I like that there's a distinction between what they're doing and what we're doing in that, you know, our primary focus is on the creation of new stuff. And then we'll, we'll you know, use whatever's going on out there as a means to get people to pay attention to what we're doing. Whereas um, for them, it's more about, you know, bring light to what's happening in entertainment. I think it's a good sort of, you know, it's like a Venn diagram. It's overlapping, not exactly the same goals. Uh, what are you guys saying? but I know what's going on. Uh, what about says they never claim to be creators. So I think that complaint is stupid. Yeah. I don't complain about that. I just, you know, I, I notice it. This is a difference. It's like they're, they're doing their thing. We're doing our thing. Um, and I think, yeah, you know, good. Two days. Hojo says 230 signups. Excellent. Excellent. That's the mythicals if anyone isn't signed up. Fantastic looking book. I'm excited to meet Hojo. He seems like an interesting fella. Um, James says, Bancroft, it's more about the fact that at a certain point you're promoting the other side and still funding them. Yeah, again, that's like Ethan talks about this, that's, I think that's sort of a, a more of a difference of values. Uh, like, I don't know. I don't know if they said, I don't know if they ever said boycott this, you know, I don't know if that was ever their thing. I don't know if you're going around telling everyone else to boycott something and you don't sure, but I don't know if they do that. So, um, I 
as for the uh like you know i'm doing this sort of stuff now too the grift i'm on the grift train <laughs> so of course i'm gonna be saying it's all fine uh but you know i've I, I occasionally get someone saying you know you're just promoting them you're just supporting them by calling them out to which my answer is i'm a i'm a dude in his cottage you know that they're, they're disney me talking about them is not promoting them like the the reason i talk about them is because they're already promoted and everyone else everyone already knows about them uh you know if i could get hundreds of thousands of views on the lucent i'd talk about the lucent more but that's not the world so you know that's what happens um jasper says my wrecked planet sketch is in the mail i wonder if you do it on drew it on stream that would be interesting you could go back and match it i've really been enjoying those uh, i've always said to ethan they're my favorite of his streams the um you know just chilling out hanging with the chat whatever they're wanting to talk about and draw it well just like this actually But Ethan can actually draw and do that. Mad respect. I'm not of that caliber. I, I use different parts of my brain, maybe. I think he's just, he's been doing it for you know 30 years. It's sort of autopilot. I'm not, I am not autopilot when I draw. <laughs> not by a long shot. It's like I can use one part of the brain or the other, not both. I missed some shrubs in my complacency. I think that's a shrub. I'm going to make it one anyway. I don't care. I'm a mad lad. Rock. What about says most people are consumers anyway, and they will never change. YouTubers have no real sway like that. Yeah, ultimately, I don't think we do. I think people just like to have content that sort of covers what they're already thinking about. And, you know, that's sort of, sort of, you know, that's what I like doing. So, you know it's a it's a it's a kind of a point it's a place where people can you know put their opinion in the chat i think that's all you do just facilitate that that's all i'm trying to do some occasionally i think i will have an actual point to say but not every single time and i don't feel like i have to just you know show off what's going on i did i did a uh this is interesting i did a cg short yesterday and i tied it to sort of current affairs because some journalists came out and was like oh yeah has anyone noticed that comics are in a creative rut who's gonna help so i was like cg was right actually who was it it was hostman who said i get to play this now i mean it's not me it's it's comics gate we get to play this. Fuck! 
Fuck you, I was right. Fuck you, I was right. Fuck you, I was right. <laughs> uh, yeah, and, you know, I think now because I've built up, like we mentioned earlier, those, you know, 50 odd thousand people who are returning to the shorts, uh, you know, I got 2000 people to view it today, which I don't, I just, that wouldn't have happened if I just started doing CG um, shorts. And I got that question from, I think it was, um, I think it was Jolly Green here in the chat. He asked, you know, you're going to do some CG shorts. I'm like, in time. I was looking at as, so as does shorts as well. He'll get 20,000 people watching his shorts and he does shorts about whatever he's up to. Uh, so that's interesting to me. You got to build that first. I think you can just jump in like that. Snark says, I actually like Rini, Shane, Camel, and Bancroft streams more now than Ethan's at this point. I don't hardly ever bother with Jack's Ballers, King's Post Kangs, or most EVS streams. I'm not, I've always said this, I'm not big on the old, on the whole, like, let's get drunk and take shots uh, and sort of thing. Um, you know, I, I, I enjoy doing Camel Nights because there's a structure to it. And Camel does get drunk on those shows but I don't. And I, I, I still feel like he holds it all together and there's a, sh a structure to it. Um, like I said, my favorite streams of Ethan's are the ones where he's just, you know, by himself, usually drawing. That's my favorite. But at the same time, again, we go back to what I said earlier. I've been in CG five years before that I was Gamergate. Before that, I was in God, you know, all kinds of strange things, looking at stuff. Uh, Internet aristocrat, uh, you know, um, blood sports. Um, you know, it's a, it's a lot of these things, it's more, they're more for people who were kind of, I wouldn't say they were new, but they're like, you know, they, they really w still want to discuss the ins and outs of SJWs and all that sort of stuff. And that's cool. I think that's needed. But I also understand that people's tastes change over time. Internet blood sports was great, says D. Dude, back in the day, that was a thing. <laughs> I was addicted absolutely addicted i couldn't get enough of it and i knew i knew it was going to end too it was like this is going to collapse and boy did it ever but they used to make like ten thousand dollars um you know a show in super chats but you like they would like you could talk about anything back then anything man like it was almost like a different site the stuff they were talking about it was actually very like for how crazy it was is actually really intellectually stimulating i learned so much um watching the blood the old uh, blood sports shows but my whole introduction to sjw's was uh internet risk crap videos um because at the time i think i was watching i was watching sargon uh, I like, I, I stumbled across cause I was, I was into like anti-feminism videos. Remember the, um, who were they? The badges, whoever the hell they were, they made a comic book and I was like, I like comics and they got banned from a convention because they were MRAs. Remember MRAs, man, we're going back in time. Uh, Worski and Tonkasaw. Oh my God. Yes. 
and the kill stream uh dude yeah it was crazy um and yes i was watching sargon and obviously youtube was like here check this guy out internet aristocrat and i was just like oh my god what is this <laughs> and you know it was all the tumblr stuff and it was, it was just like um and then and then pretty much like when when was that you know i don't know when like it wasn't too long after uh gamergate kicked off which was just you know the ultimate internet insanity that ever happened It's funny. I was, um, I was in, I wasn't in, I was listening to the stream. It was one of those, you know, big hangout streams, sort of strategy talking about what's going on stream. Sargon was there. Jim was there. A whole bunch of people were there. And, uh, this dude called in and he was hilarious. And he was like, um, rolling his eyes like, like that. It was V. And, you know, I became a fan of V. I was watching V's, uh, videos for a long time and then um just the other day i was in a dm room and v was in there and he was like asking questions i was like i was answering I'm like oh by the way i've been sub to you since like 2014 so nice to meet you <laughs> it was weird Snark says Malin and Anna unloading on Rob Casey and Roe respectively on Oz streams was glorious. Wish those had been saved. The heady days of Comics Gate. People don't know. People don't know how crazy it got. Back in the day in CG. Rob Casey. Man, I haven't heard that name in a long time. I should have Dillard on Dillard draws on sometimes. I have Dillard on. I used to, I get Dillard used to come on a little bit. I mean, he used to have more. I mean, I don't know. He, we used to um, promote uh, the Buckler. Dillard's a phenomenal artist. He has a great radio voice, too. I like Dillard. He's welcome back. I know people have some, I don't know, there's some rumor out there that. I'm really hard to get on this show. <laughs> so I think people have really stopped asking to come on here because I think they think I'm a real hard taskmaster. I'm not, and I, and I don't want to dispel that myth because sometimes I do just want to, you know, come on and hang out with the chat and just talk what I want to talk about. It's, uh, it's good to have a different kind of show every now and then. um j max says i hated ppp is that ptp when i first saw him but now i think he's great well i mean if it is patrick like there's a lot of guys like uh Aaron, uh, adam no andy smith you know it just it takes some time to really kind of figure this out and once they do it's fine but you know initially there's a yeah there's a learning curve there I was I was exact, I was exactly the same. I'd yeah, done nearly a thousand streams, I think, uh, and it takes a long time to get used to this. <laughs> uh, EVS to Pan, you come in here with the balls. You don't talk to me like that. <laughs> That's classic. That was oh man, those guys, what a. 
they all um they all call the they all call the lucent gay because there's a romance subplot in it you know there's romance is in the lucent i never i never said it wasn't it was right there on the campaign page it's like if you like um this sort of story and i said romance in there uh but yeah they were sharing it around saying oh this is so gay look at what cg promotes and i was like you realize this is the dudes who were you know putting rainbow dildos on everyone saying that a heterosexual romance between two young people is gay all right okay that's yeah i think i i don't, I don't think they're actually believe their arguments anymore i think they're just you know finding excuses to rag on people uh i was around through the whole war party and doug bs i stayed quiet because i wasn't a fan what about says bankrupt is a big shot bit of a big deal <laughs> big forward too uh, it's not PTP. No. Who's PPP? Oh, oh, are you guys talking about something else? Okay. Snapcon says, I was with War Campaign until they started going after Mandy and definitely after the crap they pulled with Anna. Yeah, I mean, we all were. Uh, there was like that's why it was such a massive thing it, you know it caused a huge rift because you know we were all sort of hanging together and then we weren't and you know you still liked and respected a bunch of the guys who were sort of caught in the middle steve die and uh um doodle bags and you know even at that even at that point gat um but uh yeah you know at some point you just have to say all right enough is enough hojo says cg is like a comic book series that got turned into a year ago all of this lore and all these characters i'm recently finding out about yeah we tried to do back when leroy was around we tried to do a um like a history of cg and we tried our best but even then we missed so much and it you know so much time had elapsed and that was only like three years in and we we'd, we'd already forgotten we got our timelines mixed up uh it you know it was three three long streams and you know we tried we tried our best but it wasn't exactly the most accurate Jasper says, dude, that's why I can't go all in on CG. Too many personalities that I'd be attaching myself to. Yeah, I mean, I don't really see it like that. And I know people think like that, and that's cool. I just, like, to me, Comics Gate is, is, is this place where we all hang out. It's the people who hang out there. And I, I never wanted it to be like, if you're in, you're in for life, and you can never leave. Um because I think that discourages people from wanting to come and hang out. Uh, and I also don't believe that if someone in CG does or says something that that reflects at all on me, I just don't accept that. And I know other people like say that and that's, you know, I can't do anything about it. You know, I, I just knew because I was doing webtoons when CG started and i was like i can't go on you sort of you're sort of like living a lie you know keeping your mouth shut because i was you know i was liking what everything i was you know watching and seeing and hearing but i i felt i felt like i couldn't 
express that. And I was just like, I want to really going to live my whole life not being me just because I want some rando web tuner not to unfollow me. Nah, fuck that. And then, you know, as you get more into it, you just get more comfortable with being yourself and then, you know, upwards and onwards. Just be yourself, says Jade. I mean, I don't know how you can be anything else. It, it, long run, long term. It just, it wouldn't work. And if that costs you opportunities, well, so be it. There's a great, there's a great speech in Serrano where he's talking about how he's not going to, you know, spend his life doing something else uh just so just so he, get, he can get a chance to you know feed at the trough of the big machine or whatever and it's like, to me it's always been a perfect explanation of how i see comics gate and you know why i decided to throw my hat in here Uh, Hyrule guy says not everyone has the money to back every CG work just pick the one you like and back it um yeah I I have barely the money to back anything especially now with the shipping uh, like my backing has just dropped precipitously I don't know if I don't think there's any way around that. But, you know, I try and support people that I think are doing a really good job in any way that I can. I think that's all anyone can do. And I think a lot of things that we talk about, you know, in the sort of more strategy shows, a lot of that stuff is coming, but it's going to take time. Some of us are just publishing our first and second books. We're not going to be competing with, established publishers on price and output for a, a good time if ever you know a lot of us are going to try and when i say us i mean people in cg they're going to try and they're going to fail and that's just what it is you know not everyone's going to succeed at this um vic says the worst though was michael bancroft i really hated that guy a lot of people did a lot of people still do. Some of them call me a liar and a clown on a daily basis. What if you have multiple personality disorder? Be yourself. Yeah, it's, it's fine. Jamie says, I agree. That Bancroft guy nearly destroyed CG. If only I had my chance. <laughs> Everyone speaks to themselves. Absolutely, says Boo Brancher. Yeah. Otherwise, he says it sounds like a cult. Yeah. It, it can't become a cult. If it becomes a cult, I'm out. You know? And I and I and plus the thing about cults is they shrink because you know, and I think this is what happened with um their war campaign is they started purity spiraling you're not pure enough you're not you don't have the, the the correct virtues and they start turning each other and then it just becomes shrinking and shrinking and shrinking smaller and smaller until you know there's only a couple left and i just you know cg can't become that it's too precious it's just you know come so too far to let that happen clown croft yeah that's me <laughs> i 
Atheline is talking about economies of scale. Exactly. Like the numbers that we're printing, we just can't compete on that front. So we have to offer something more, you know, and that's why I think the YouTube really helps. And um, you can do things that the mainstream can't do, personalize things. Um, you know, you can hear directly from the person who's sending you your product. So there is value in that. It's not going to be enough value for a lot of people, for even most people, but we don't need most people to be supporting our crowd funds. We just need enough people. Uh, you know, the, you know, taking over publishing can come later if the quality is there in the books. If it's not there, it's never going to happen. I believe in the Lucent, but that's me. I can only that's I can only control that. I can't control what other people are putting out. I think the Lucent is good enough to get there one day, but I'm working by myself pretty much on this, on the main book at least, and you know, I'm working full time at the same time. It's going to take a long time to build up an alternative income to be able to work less of the day job. That's just the way it is. All you can do is keep working. <laughs> uh, Michael, that guy needs to kneel lower if he's going to give the cloak guy a blowy. He's not. It's not that kind of story, as I said. If you think that there's no nipples in the loose and you think there's going to be BJs, or as we like to call them, gobbies, which I think is a better term, a gobby. Get it in your gob. It's not very sexy, though, but, you know, I don't think they actually are a sexy thing. JD's out. See you tomorrow, JD. Hashtag cultgate. We've been called a cult before, Pork. Great to see Pork in the chat. I haven't seen you in a while, Pork. It's always a pleasure to see Pork hunt in the chat, hanging. How long have I been going for? We'll go another 15 minutes, I think. Takes time to build a multi million dollar business, Bancroft. I know. I know it does. I'm trying. I'm trying real hard, Ringo. It's all a surprise. I mean, no one knows, no one can predict it. We sit on these streams and talk about these things like we know, but it's all really uh, trial and error and putting it out there and seeing what people like. I, you know, I, I've always said and always maintained when I put the Lucent out, I was hoping for 100 backers for the whole thing, for the whole time. And we got 130 on the first day. And it's at that point you're like, oh, maybe I actually have something here. But you can't know that until you go live. And there's a lot of people who have great looking books. To me, they look great and they go live and they struggle to get 15 people. So it's tough. It's a tough game. It'll like, holy crap. Especially when you think about how much work goes into these things. Hojo says, CG to me is freedom. You get to be your own boss and follow your dream to the fullest. Uh, if it fails, it's probably on you. I mean, it, when it, it could just be people didn't like what you were doing. Like you could have put in all the effort and all the work and all the world and, you know, you did everything right. You went into all the streams. You ingratiated yourself with the people. You were cool. They wanted, they liked you. 
But then at the end of the day, people just didn't like your, your book. Um, that can happen as well. Most of the time, though, when people are well-liked and well-received, their books tend to get better. Like, look at the Diaz Brothers' latest book. It's, like, top tier. And it's going great. And everyone likes them. So it is freedom. That is exactly it. That's that's why I was like, I knew I had to stop the webtoon thing and come over here and try. Even if I failed, at least then I would have tried. And uh, still here five years later, still trying. <laughs> James says, if Ethan went out of the way, the leader would be Shane. Then would be really be screwed. You think it would be Shane? It wouldn't be John? I would think John would be next in line. That's what, I, uh, like, I don't know, though. Could be Shane. You never know. Like, it, you know, if I've ever watched any TV show about a power vacuum, you know, there's that, that war that breaks out after the, <laughs> we're talking about Ethan going away. <laughs> He's trying to lose weight, which is a good thing. Everyone should do that. Um, Mike, War Party is on the shelf of my local comic box. You should invite Murph back on to talk about his distribution. I would love to have Murph on. Murph is one of my favorite guys in CG. I love what he's doing. I, I respect him so much um he's a great guy and uh he's one of those guys i always feel like wow it's a like it's a real it's a real privilege that this guy knows me <laughs> he knows my name i consider him like that he's a he's a top top dude um i think he's just really busy you know, he was working for malin he's a bit late on his own books uh so he's not really making the rounds but you know if he were to ask i would uh i would absolutely have murph on you guys are chatting up a storm now my goodness holy crap i'm way behind Forty percent Z says Bancroft. I asked you last year. I, if I left a comment on one of your vids. You asked me to elaborate. Took a huge ramble. I just wondered if you ever saw it. I hope I did. I'm. I would be ashamed of myself if I didn't respond to it or, or even see it. Um, do you remember what video it was? It was the logistics and shipping. All right, I'll go check that um, after the stream. I apologize uh, if I didn't get back to you. I know what it's like, especially if I asked for it. Um, pork is snowed under at work with students back. I hear you, man. It gets like that, doesn't it? Uh, Hojo says, I hate to say this, but Rob Arnold was right. Watch his YouTube crowdfunding tutorial. It was my Bible. You have to be willing to put in the work, dude. Uh, you can lead a horse to water. You can't make him drink. I mean, Zach stumbled on the method. Like, I don't think he meant to, you know, even really discover it or what do you, you know, if you want to call it, invent it or whatever. Uh, he figured it out though. He, he found it. Uh, Ethan came along and perfected it. Uh, you know, John talked about it then and went and did it uh it was shown time and time again to work the system the path to follow just follow the path that's it but you know you, it doesn't people are gonna people are gonna learn that they, they need to you know le learn themselves and i understand that i'm like that in a lot of ways too but um now that doesn't mean you're going to be as successful as those guys. Remember, um, you know, Zach was the 
Zach is the focal point of a huge media blitz in 2017. Ethan is it was at the time was a you know a huge name in comics and uh, you know revitalizing a, a you know previous existing IP and and he was in the middle of it too. And just like Joe Blow coming along and wanting to get a little piece themselves, it's like it's going to take longer. That's just that's just it. It's going to take probably years and years and years. But you will be free to do it. Mike, did you see my last comment, says Jasper? I don't know, Jasper. Let me have a look. Uh, I did. I talked about it, the War Party one. I'm sorry. I'm really behind on the chat. Uh, let me just scroll down here. And deals, oh, I'm so far behind. I apologize. Take an awe. Uh, I don't know what you guys are talking about. Hey, you guys are talking. You guys, you guys realized I was so far behind that you just started talking amongst yourselves, and I don't blame you. I facilitated a discussion. I'm fine with that. While I'm Flatten and chatting. I like that. That's a good name. You let us down, Bancroft. What did I do? What did I miss? J Max says Bank is the hottest young talent in CG. No, <laughs> I'm like Obi Wan. I have not been called young in a long time. A long time. Yapping and fapping with Mikey B. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, the chat is the best. Yeah, like these are actually the strings I enjoy the most watching. Like when Ethan does this, uh, Shanth, I watch all of them. I watch them on replay. If Shanth is just chilling with his chat and painting, I'll watch that every time. Mortal V says, I wonder if there's going to be a scorpion hidden somewhere on that page. Hmm. This storyline is not really about the scorpions. This is in, I know it looks very old and it is ancient even, but not the same timeline, not the same characters. The Scorpions are very specific to a certain character. And uh, these are different people. I love the um, sort of, you know, coming up with theories and mysteries and everything and that when that's in a story, which is exactly exactly why I put it in my own. Snarktagon says YouTube won't let him super chat anything less than 50 bucks. What? Is that true? I super chatted Phil Diaz um, two bucks 
dollary dues the other day and edwin called me out on it he was like this guy is like one of the biggest cg youtubers and he can only afford two bucks it's like i didn't make that much money i mean i do okay but as i always say i got five kids to feed i've got rod looper to pay rod rod doesn't come cheap <laughs> not the kind of rod i want anyway We are getting to the end of the show. After this, I've got to go finish off my short. It's going to be about Chuck Dixon and what he said about the DCU, which is pretty funny. I thought it was funny. So I'm going to get a whole bunch of DCU stands attacking me tomorrow. Well, maybe not tomorrow. It'll probably take a week, you know, if they end up seeing it. And then I'll have that to laugh at should be interesting but hopefully hope upon hope hope beyond hope someone will go huh i like chuck dixon i like that i like what he's saying i agree with that i'm gonna sub to this guy and then he'll say what are these guys doing what are these guys up to here and what's this comics gate you know that's the hope anyway Jamie Max says there's, there's not enough room in CG for Jimmy and me. You mean Jimmy Reyes? He's not that big, is he? He's, he's pretty short. I think he's probably one of the shortest guys. I think there's plenty of room when Jimmy's around. More super chats mean less gay time, says Frank Leo. Really? I don't know about that. Snark says Jimmy is boring AF. Like I said, guys, you don't just come into this thing firing on all cylinders. I don't know if Jimmy's going to be ever be a superstar broadcaster. But, you know, give him a chance. Give him a chance to shine. Mike, do you watch Russell Brand on Rumble? He's doing live streams now. How is he? I was I always I was watching Brand a fair bit on YouTube for a while and then I just sort of I don't know, I I guess I kind of got burnt out on it was a bit of a he's a really positive guy um but it was a little bit black pilling you know it's just like constant stuff that was very heavy and I feel like I can't affect any sort of change <laughs> I can't do anything about it um which is weird because I used to rag on him hardcore for just being a you know woo woo guy but it's just, you know, how times change. I'd check out a live stream, though. That would be interesting. People get crazy numbers on Rumble live streams. I get six. I got six people watching. Thank you, Rumblers. Uh, Mandy has improved, says Jeremy. Mandy's great now. I love a Mandy stream. Yeah, people get better. That Mandy stream where they played, uh, I don't know, that old game, The Wagon Trail, that was fantastic. I think I did pretty well. I mean, I'm going to save that. That was a lot of, 
menial work. Oregon Trail, that was it. Yeah, that was a lot of menial flatting. If you go back, it looked like that. And now it looks like this. Um, they will be set in the night, but I, I've got to figure out how I'm going to exactly do that. All right, everybody. Uh, yeah, I don't know the Oregon Trail. I mean, I know of it. I've heard of it. I'm actually quite learned in American history. I find it very interesting. He ramped up his Pfizer coverage. Yeah, see, that stuff is like, I knew all of it would be true three years ago. And it's like, it's really depressing and sad and tragic. And, you know, I'm glad that people are out there covering that stuff but you know i've had enough of it you know uh not half bad says sumo wow that's uh that's high praise and that's a big panel too that takes up like a third of the page so uh everybody yeah 53 wonderful amazing people joined us tonight um i updated my site in case you didn't see that earlier uh it's now the main um the main url is the loosencomic.com that'll be it going forward uh it's where you can get it's sort of yeah ground zero for everything lucent in terms of the books and everything i've just started it it's very basic uh you can buy the second chance the second edition you can sign up to painted death you can help me create fractured mind we're halfway through that now rod and i uh so you can watch the propaganda trailer i won't put you through that again 40 percent zed says thanks for the hangout thank you guys for hanging out with me i know it's super late uh 50 people in here it's an honor to have half a century of people join me while i flat and chat at this late hour but i do have to leave you because i have to finish my short and go in and probably eat something it's very late. Um, I'll be seeing you. What day is it? I'll, I'll be streaming tomorrow. Have I got anyone on? No, I don't think I do. So we'll just be hanging out, checking out stuff. Normal show. Until then, you are always the most amazing, incredible, spectacular, and phenomenal sexiest chat in all of CG. You know the drill. I will see you later. All right. Bye. Individually, we are weak, like a single twin. But as a bundle, we form a mighty fat...